Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today, I am back with another tiny home conversion. I've done a couple of these on the channel before. I know I've done a school bus, which is one of my favorite builds I've ever created, as well as a box truck. And I can't remember if I've done a train conversion or not, but if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. But today we are making a converted van into a tiny house and it's so small. It has what you need to survive, but it doesn't have everything. It's kind of like a real life van conversion where some of them have like a pull out toilet. Some don't have bathrooms at all. It really depends, but I'm really happy with how this build came out. So I'm so excited to share it with you. If you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. And that information will also be in the description down below as well. So as you can see, I started here with this van object, which is just from Debug. It's one of the like cars you might see driving around in the background. We don't have functional cars in The Sims 4, but there are some that like drive on the streets, you'll see. <laughs> and uh, if you go into the Debug menu or the Show Live Edit Objects menu, you can find those. So I grabbed that and I scaled it up with Tool and kind of merged it into this box, uh, this like little room I created. And then I'm trying to put a roof on the top to try to make it blend together. It looked a little odd, but I did see a lot of van conversions that sort of have this pop up a roof. So it looks like it gives it more vertical space. Uh, so that's what I decided to add on here. And I feel like that just really made it come together and feel more realistic. And I love it. <laughs> I really like how this came out. Uh, but only the back three by three space on the interior is usable. The rest is purely decoration. And I kind of ended up decorating this lot in the end to look like it was parked here with a bunch of other trucks and stuff. So there's some public restrooms where your Sims can go ahead and use the bathroom and shower and all that sort of stuff. Whereas the inside of this prioritizes a place to sleep as well as like a kitchen space. So you'll see that when we get to the interior, but we are still working on the exterior now. And I got this little awning over the top and I knew I was going to want to use this door that came with Strangerville because it looks like a camper door. So I thought it was perfect for this build. And uh, I actually decided to make it look like it was open. So I put it on a diagonal wall, which I deleted afterwards, and then put a uh, like an archway right next to it. On the back of the van, I decided to have two of these doors. And these are not going to be functional because I put a bed basically against them, as you can see here. But I thought it looked pretty realistic to the interior of a lot of van builds. The one thing that I couldn't include in here because there wasn't enough space in The Sims was a double bed. I would have preferred to have a much bigger sleeping space, but I did what I could with it and I think it came out cute anyway. So here I am placing it down our counters. I end up rotating the bed to be the other way just so I could make sure your Sims could get in it and it wasn't like the head was right next to the sink. I thought it looked a little bit nicer this way and then I'm swapping out the other counter for a mini fridge. We don't have a full kitchen in here. We have a sink, a fridge, and a microwave, uh, but I'm thinking you're mostly going to be eating in other ways, maybe at a barbecue or whatever, if you're living in this house. I just wanted the ability to do some sort of cooking here. You could also change out the microwave for one of the countertop ovens that came with Dream Home Decorator if you wanna have some more cooking options. I just didn't have space for another counter. So I decided this was the best route to go would be mini fridge and something on top of it. Uh, but then I'm cluttering up the space to make it feel lived in. We have like a little box that has some food in it as well as plates and cups and utensils. And I'm just trying to clutter that all up on top of the microwave. These are things you would probably want secured while you're actually driving. Uh, but I thought for, you know, when you're parked, having them stored here on top of the microwave would make sense. And fortunately for us in The Sims, it doesn't function that way anyway, so it's totally okay for these to just be sitting there. I just used move objects to place them. And I also really liked that clutter piece I put above the sink. That's a bunch of like tea canisters that I have herbs growing in. I think that is so pretty. I'm pretty sure that's from the Blooming Rooms kit, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, so I put that there and I also got some of these little curtains up on this window. These ones are from Parenthood. I used this pink swatch. I tried to just add a lot of fun colors in this space and make it kind of vibrant and youthful. And uh, I think I achieved that, but you can let me know. There's also a lot of whites in here in this like orange wood tone. I wanted to have a small table here. I ended up going with a high top table. I didn't use this one in the end. I actually ended up using this other high top table from high school years. Uh, it just kind of matched the wood on the floor in here. So I quite liked that. And we got a stool to go with it. 
and this is going to be like our eating space slash desk. I end up putting a laptop up here so your Sims can go ahead and use the computer. And the little shelving unit I put above the table is so cute. That is from Tiny Living and I just thought it was nice to have some additional clutter and storage space for your Sims to utilize in here. And then I just end up getting a couple of pieces of clutter up on the table as well. I believe, yeah, we got these headphones from the Everyday Clutter Kits. Uh, so that way it looks like your Sims can have some headphones to use while they are on their laptop. We got some paper towels and a little mirror by the front door as well. It's a really small space, but I had so much fun cluttering it and trying to make it feel realistic and lived in. So like little touches here and there, like this hanging plant in the corner, I thought were fun additions. And um, it, it is pretty cluttered. <laughs> I do like decorating cluttered spaces though. I also got a calendar over there and some extra storage pieces in this bookshelf. Uh, so we have like a box of like all sorts of knickknacks and things. I believe that came with the Everyday Clutter Kit as did this uh, set of like weights and water bottle. I also put a yoga mat over in the corner and we're just trying to position this so it fits in the shelf quite nicely. And then I used tools to raise it up a little bit because it was clipping into the shelf. And uh, yeah, that should be it for the bookcase. I just wanted to add a couple of things in there and then we get a little rug in here as well. Just to make it a little bit cozier when you get out of bed. We have wood floors on the inside. I was thinking they were probably like fake wood, um, <laughs> you know, like a laminate, I guess, that is put down in this van since this is supposed to be a van conversion, a little house in a vehicle. And uh, I got a little bedside table. This one is from high school years. I really liked the how small it is. It's just one of the modular pieces. It's not really meant to be a bedside table. It's just like a little cabinet. I thought it was quite cute. And then I ended up adding some pieces here, some magazines and swatches and things. I was thinking it would be kind of a fun idea if this sim was a traveling interior designer. So they have like this whole van life. They travel around the country or wherever they are and they live out of their van, but they're going around and redoing people's spaces. That sounded so fun. So that was kind of something that came to be while I was decorating. As you can see, I grabbed a lot of those items from Dream Home Decorator. I also thought that the sim probably enjoyed plants, so I have a few of those throughout. We have that one over the sink, but I also added these little seedlings over here, which I think are so cute. Uh, those ones are from the Greenhouse Haven kit, so I put them in front of this window that's right above the bed, and I just get a couple other pieces of clutter over in this area to make it feel like it's fully decorated. Uh, I think we end up adding some books up there. I feel like that's always just a nice thing to add. To clutter up a space it looks realistic and filled in and that's a new bookshelf that came with the book nook kit i'm really loving that kit i've been using a lot of it and then i just grabbed another curtain to go over that window uh of course getting some more plants the hanging plants that i used in this tiny home are from the nifty knitting stuff pack they're the ones you can like knit the the like ropes and stuff that are attached to them and then I also wanted a different headboard than the one this bed originally came with so I ended up rotating the cutting board from uh, the cool kitchen stuff pack and moving it over here and scaling it ever so slightly with tool so that way we had a nice headboard and I think that worked quite quite well I was quite happy with it I rotated it around because on the front side there's some like scratches and dents and stuff from knives whereas on the back side it's just like clean wood so that worked quite well and I changed the swatch of the bed as well so it's a bright yellow and I just think it makes it a little bit happier in here lots of fun colors and then we are heading to the exterior to work on the landscaping uh, we are in here on the inner circle lot in Dussel Valley I really like the placement here it's like at the end of a cul-de-sac and I don't build here very often because it's such a big lot uh, but I like the environment of this and I thought it would work nice to have like a few different cars and trucks and stuff parked here. I didn't make any of the other ones like a converted van. I just have some random trucks. You could probably put some of the debug like um, airstreams and trailers and things as well or place down some other tiny homes that are conversions. I feel like it could be a lot of fun to play on this lot with a bunch of different sims that are all like kind of traveling and stopping here for the night like a little campsite that's kind of the vibe i was going for so uh i grabbed some trees from debug that are all from like the surrounding world or ones that looked similar to the ones i was seeing in the background of this world in this area anyway and tried to make some of it a little bit overgrown there's some fencing around as well just to make it feel somewhat enclosed 
And then there ends up being like a cement block that I was thinking was put there to be like a place that you park in front of so you can hang out in that area. Uh, Like I said, I was thinking this was more of a specific parking spot that's what this area is for. Uh, So just getting some greenery around there. We got a bunch of plants and grasses, uh, lots of trees as well. There's a couple of palm trees on this lot, which I think are so pretty. And it takes a while before I decide to add the other cars, but I think we should be doing that now. I just was having fun uh, getting all of the greenery going and it doesn't end up being that full of a lot, but I do have a couple of these trucks and we'll have a public restroom piece as well. We have a few of those in the game now. We've gotten them in base game and a few other packs. You might see them around the world, like if your Sims are going to the park or something. Those little buildings that have like two restrooms in them. I placed one of those on this lot so your Sims have that to utilize since there isn't a bathroom on the interior of this build. There just wasn't space and it made more sense to me to just have it elsewhere on the lot since (laughs) that's kind of how these homes usually are. And well... In real life, sometimes they have like a composting toilet that is like tucked under a counter or something. Uh, But unfortunately, we can't do that in The Sims. We do have a lot of cool tiny house related items because we got the tiny living stuff pack and we have like composting toilets and stuff, but they're not as compact. They're just regular toilets you can upgrade to be composting. There was some cool stuff with Eco Lifestyle that has the same sort of vibes Uh, They just don't exactly work how they do in real life. But anyway, I got some loungers out here. There's also a cooler uh, for some cool drinks and stuff and an umbrella over the space. The umbrella is from the My Wedding Stories game pack. It's in Shalivated Objects and I just think it's so nice. Uh, There's a few different varieties. This one as well as like a red one and a white one and they come in an open version or a closed version and I use them a lot outside of like cafes and stuff because I think it's nice to have some that are open and some that are closed. I just feel like it looks more realistic and has a little bit more storytelling to it. Uh, But yeah, just getting some more terrain paint around here. I wanted to have some rocks as well as some sand. Of course, some of the grass showing through and I wanted to get some more trees out back because it was feeling a little bit bare, but uh, I didn't have any of these yet, which are in the surrounding world. So I thought in the back of the lot that made a lot of sense. And then we'll get some more lowland grass as well as a couple of tents I should be placing here shortly as well. I was thinking since the trucks that are parked here are trucks, not like caravans and stuff. Perhaps they had set up some tents. So I got a couple here. The first one I placed down is actually from Snowy Escape and the other one, actually the both of the other ones I believe are from Outdoor Retreat, which was our first pack that brought us like a vacation world and camping and all of these things. So I thought that those were nice additions and I also end up adding a bonfire in the middle so your Sims can sit down and like cook food and roast marshmallows and like hang out while they are camping over here on this lot. Uh, But that's pretty much it for this build. Just going to be getting these bathrooms over here and finishing up some landscaping and then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun with this. I really like these sort of conversion builds. So like I mentioned, I don't think I've done a train yet, but I might have. Regardless, let me know if you'd like to see that or any other kind of vehicle conversions into a tiny house. I would love to do that. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching, enjoy those screenshots, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.